All right, we're back with Max and we're going to do his skull. We've um, marked off the length by using the tips of the ears. And now I'm going to take my half inch universal comb and just lightly skim over his head. Now the reason that I'm not afraid to go with a half inch is because, you know, these guys, their hair falls into place. So a half inch will, you know, leave it a fair length but get a little bit of volume out of it. Oh, you're okay. He's kind of a baby. Make sure you get those cheeks out of there. All right. And honestly, it didn't take that much out. So then I'm going to just come through here and lift, comb, lift, comb, and bring everything forward. And this is where I really like to use the convex two line as far as the 26 tooth blenders. Now these are the black titanium, but um, the pink titanium, even the regular convex too, all of those guys do a beautiful job. They're Japanese style shear, and they do a beautiful job of finishing these coats. Just as long as you're not close to the skin. Okay, if you're too close to the skin with these big guys, they'll leave marks. Okay, if you want more refinement, Go ahead and pull out your 45 tooth blender. And now if you find that you've got any lines, because some of these coats are so sparse, the 45 tooth blender will clean it all up. You want to soften anything, just come down here, pull the ear right down from the skull, blending into the side of the head and the beard. And you end up with an awful cute finish. If you're afraid that you're not even, you can go ahead and just pull the coat between your fingers forward because right there's where we marked the back. If you look, it's hard to see with my fingers. There you go. You can go ahead and take that off as well because it's already been marked in the back between the ears. So this is a good judgment just to make sure that everything's even and that way nothing pops out. And Go ahead and just look over Look over the dog. Look over, Bubba. Look over. And just make sure nothing's sticking out. Not the easiest thing to do with some of these little Yorkies because they got minds of their own. And Max is no different. But I'm just looking over and I saw a little whisker sticking out. Maybe a little side of an eyebrow sticking out farther than the other. But other than that, it's a pretty darn cute little Yorkie head. Kind of Westy-ish, huh? Yes. Thank you. Good boy.